everybody, hello. My name is Miss Alex and I work for the St. John's County Public Library System. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. We are recording this live, so the next couple of minutes, um, we're just going to allow everybody to find the feed and get settled and get ready for story time. So hooray! Hi everybody. Oh, I see we have some people joining us. Hello. Hello, hello. Please feel free to drop your name into the comments so that I can say hello to you. Oh, hi mama. Hello. Let's see who else is joining us today. Mm. I'm so glad that story time is back. We took um, a break last week since Thanksgiving was last week. We didn't have any programs. I missed you all so much. Good morning. Hi. Hi, friends. Hello. There are more people joining in. Hi there. Let's see. Who else is with us today? I would love to know your name so I can say hi. Oh, hi, Oscar and Gus. Hello. Hi, hi. Got some more friends joining us. Oh, no, no pigeon books today, but... I do have some books about some other different kinds of animals that I think you'll enjoy. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Did everyone have a lovely break? If you celebrate Thanksgiving, did you have a good Thanksgiving? Yay. Oh, I'm so glad we've got more people hopping in and ready for Monday morning story time. Yay, yay, yay. Let's see, is it almost time? Oh, it's time to get started. I can't believe it. Okay, now I know it's been a little bit of a break, but do you all still remember our Hello Friend song? Let me set my books down so my hands are free. Okay, so we say hello friends like this. Hello, we wave, good job. And then show me two fingers. They're gonna hug for friends. And then point to her wrist, time. Point to her mouth to say, and then wave again, hello. Oh, good, oh, good. Okay, so some of you do remember, yay. Okay, we're gonna put all those together and do our song. Here we go. Hello, friends, hello, friends, hello, friends, it's time to say hello hello everybody hello yay thanks for hopping on and joining me for story time today if you've never met me before my name is miss alex and i work for the saint john's county public library system and i am so happy that it is monday morning because that means story time so i'm gonna look up can you look outside real quick are you by a window? Window? Can you look outside? What's the weather like today? Is it snowing? Not here. <laughs> Not where I am. Is it snowing where you are? Nope, it's still pretty warm here. I put on a little bit of a warmer hat today since it's getting a little cooler, but it's still pretty sunny. Sunny. Is it raining where you are? Maybe. It was rainy, raining a lot this morning. Everything around me is all wet because it was raining so much. Oh, someone says it's sunny and a bit chilly. Yeah, it's a little cooler outside today. It's nice, right? Since it is so, so sunny, oh my goodness. We're gonna sing some Mr. Sun. So can you take your hands and put them way up high? <laughs> Good job. Okay, here we go. Oh, Mr. Sun. Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. Woo! These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Yes! Thank you for singing that with me. Hi, Gus. Hello. Thanks for singing Mr. Sun with me. Oh, I love it. Okay, it's time to do our glasses song. In case you forgot, since it's been a while, we take two hands and we turn them into circles. One, two. We're gonna put them together and those are gonna be our glasses. Whoop! I have to open mine up just a little bit more. <laughs> okay, 
We're gonna take our glasses off. Whoop. We're gonna clap our hands together to make a book. Oh, we have more friends joining us. Hi, Bella, Evie, and Bean. Hello. Okay, boop. We've got our book. What does your book look like? Those are nice books. Okay, we're gonna open our hands. Boop. Like that to open our book, and then we clap them closed. Okay, let's see. What is gonna be peeking inside our book? Let's warm it up. We're gonna count to three and open our hands up really slowly and see what's hanging out in there. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Oh! This is something that doesn't make any noise at all. Maybe a swishy noise with the wind. This is a. What is that? Do you know? Or is it? Let's see, brown. It looks a little orange in the sun though too, doesn't it? It's a leaf, that's right. But it's turned hard and a little crackly and brown because the leaves are starting to change. <gasps> yes, oh, good job guys. I see the comments coming in, good job. It's not summer anymore, right? It's fall. It's getting close to winter even. So this is what happens. Leaves change to brown. It gets a little bit cooler outside. <sighs> We're gonna read some books about nature today. So let's take our leaf. I'm gonna put it back inside my book and close it up really carefully. Whoop. Okay, let's do our song now. Here we go. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up the book once more. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up the book. Yay! Thanks for singing the glasses song with me. Let's see. The first book I wanted to read to you is called My Friend Earth. That's her. My Friend Earth. It's written by Patricia McLaughlin and it's illustrated by Francesca Sana. And this book is published by Chronicle Books. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Chronicle, for writing amazing, or publishing amazing books and letting us read them for story time. Hooray! Okay, my friend Earth. Take a second, let's look at this cover. Look at all of the animals on the cover. All the animals that live on earth. Do you see any animals that you love? Hmm. I see lots. Look at those dragonflies, hummingbird, a turtle. Oh, and look at this guy. A little hedgehog. So cute. Okay, let's see what happens in my friend earth. Ooh, this is an interesting book. Look, there's flaps. How cool. Okay, look. <gasps> She's sleeping. Let's see. <gasps> My friend Earth wakes up from a winter nap. Who's peeking out there? Who is that? I see a little bird. Let's see. <gasps> oh, she hears the busy spring sounds. The farmer's hoe tap, tap, tapping in the garden. The caca of crows. Look at all of 
those birds and bugs all coming out for spring. <gasps> she sees the little. Can you show me little? Itty bitty 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 bitty. Little things like the silent seed, the spider spinning silver, the robin and the wrens. Do you see those little things? And the large. Can you show me large or big? Let's take our hands. So this is little. And you get big, 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 big. Like the long-winged albatross crossing the sea. The mole tunneling in the underdark. She guides the chimpanzee to her night rest. Aww. And the baby. There's a lot happening on this page, huh? Look at all those stripes. And the zebra baby. Look, we've got the zebra baby. Mm hmm To find his mother. Let's see. Where, oh where, could his mother be? It must be that zebra. Turning around to look for her baby in the hundreds of black and white striped mothers. Look at all of those zebras. Let's see. Oh. She tends the prairie where sun dappled wild horses run. Do you see all of those horses? many they're all different colors too through grasses that swish against their legs and look at all those hills all the different colors the tundra oh that's someplace really cold the tundra where the reindeer graze for moth and the glistening ice where the young polar bear pads on mittened feet. Oh, look, she's looking down into the water at what with the polar bear? Do you see? I see fish down there. I bet that polar bear's hungry, huh? She, whoa, whoa, she guards all the creatures in all the oceans. The black manta rays sleek like shadows. The shining parrot fish, hmm. The tiny krill who swim with millions of other krill to look big. And the whales who are big, so big, oh my goodness. And look, there she is, all tiny, right up top. Have you ever seen these animals before? Whales, krill, parrotfish, manta rays. My friend Earth pours the summer rain to fill streams flowing down mountains through fields, to the rivers, to the sea. Do we have a sea by us? Do we have the ocean? Have you been to the ocean before? Sometimes she pours too much rain. Oops. Flooding towns and meadows and roads? Uh-oh. 
until she dries the land. Oops. Sometimes that does happen. <gasps> wow. What is she doing? She's blowing. <sighs> She's blowing the wind. Sometimes she blows fierce. <sighs> Autumn winds sweeping the limbs of trees and shingles from the roofs of barns. Oh my, that's a lot of wind. Not just a little bit, a lot. Until she stills the wind, so she stops it and she slows it down. So red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground. Remember the orange brownish leaf we found before? Look. What does that mean? It's turning into fall. And when cold comes again, my friend Earth sprinkles the snow, whisper silent, covering the dens where baby black bears are born in soft darkness drifting over the icy pond where the turtle sleeps in mud, settling into the empty nests of birds. So we've got the little turtle, I see some squirrels, brown bear, is that a little deer? All these animals settling down to sleep. Let's see. Under the white, the silent seed is cradled in the dark soil, watching. Let's see, look at all these sleepy, sleepy animals. <gasps> Waiting. <sighs> look. She's going back to sleep because the earth is cold to fly up again in the warm, bright sun of spring. Let's see. The end. My friend Earth, look, she was waiting for that little flower. That's the end of my friend Earth. Thank you for reading it with me. I love that one. I agree. Agree. It is a very relaxing book, it's so calming, and there's so many things to look at in the pictures. Let's see. That made me think of a fun activity that you could do at home now that the weather's changing and things look a little bit different outside. I made up a little nature scavenger hunt, and I just put a couple of things on there. Do you know what's on my nature scavenger hunt? I've got a green leaf. I've got, what's that over there? Some clouds, mm, a branch, a flower, and, oh, a brown leaf. There's also a little bit of red and orange in there. What kinds of things would you add to your nature scavenger hunt? Let me know in the comments. What kind of things would you add on there? Maybe some animals or what else? you might see outside. Let's see if we can find some of the things on my nature scavenger hunt. <laughs> Take a look. Oh, I see something. Oh, what are these? Yeah. Flowers. That was on my nature scavenger hunt. What else, what else was on there? Hmm. Oh, the clouds. Now, where do I find clouds? Hmm. Do I find them on the ground? Is that right? No. Oh, Beth says she would put a snake on her nature scavenger hunt. Ooh, I've seen some snakes in my backyard. No, clouds are not on the ground, are they? They're up in the sky. 
And look, let's see if I can whoop, turn this around. There we go. There are some clouds way over there in the sky. That's right. Oh, Gus says grass and a brown leaf. You put those things on your nature scavenger hunt? Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of, where's the place where you can find a brown leaf? If it's already fallen off the tree, is it up in the sky? On the tree? Maybe sometimes, but if it's already fallen. <gasps> Ta-da! Brown leaf. Okay, so that's one, two, three things on my list that I found. What else, what else, what else? Oh, I've got my branch and a green leaf that I need to find. Hmm. <laughs> where, oh, where could I find a branch? Oh! I found one. It broke off of a tree in my backyard. Here we go. What color is this branch? Yes! It's brown. It's really pointy, too. Interesting. All right. So the last thing on my nature scavenger hunt was, what was it? Oh, a green leaf. Let's see. Oh. I found some. Look at all of these green leaves here. I'm not going to pull one off because then it's going to turn brown. So I'm just going to leave them right here. All these green leaves. What other things would you put on your nature scavenger hunt? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear. Do you have a favorite animal that you think you might be able to find outside? Let's see, I can't wait to see what you say. Time for our last book, guys. And that book is called Tidy. It's written by Emily Gravett and it's published by Simon & Schuster. Thank you, Simon & Schuster. Oh, we have friends saying a dragonfly, ducks and cats. Oh, yay. Those are some fun things to find outside. You know what? I've even found goats outside of our library before in nature. It's not something you'd expect to see, huh? Ducks and cats and goats. So tidy. Let's see. What kind of animal is this? Do you know? I'm not going to spoil it until we read it. Let's see. Any guesses? Deep in the forest lived a badger named Pete, who tidied and cleaned and kept everything neat. He tidied the flowers by checking each patch and snipping off any that didn't quite match. He tidied the fox by grooming his fur. He untangled each knot and each twig and each burr. <gasps> who is he using to untangle and brush the fox's fur? that a hedgehog? Maybe. Or a porcupine. He tidied the birds from the big to the small by brushing their beaks, then bathing them all. Man, Pete stays very busy. He picked up stray sticks, he swept and he rubbed, he polished the rocks and he scoured and he scrubbed. Oh my goodness. So when a leaf fell, well, what's he gonna do? Oh, Gus says a deer. Oh my, look at all of those leaves falling. Uh-oh. Pete tidied up. Oh, did he put all of those leaves in trash bags? 
but he still wasn't happy. Now the trees looked bare and scrappy. And so, to make it all look neat, Pete undertook a mighty feat. <gasps> he dug up every single tree. Oh no. Oh, look at all the animals. Where are they gonna go? But then it rained. There was a flood. Mm -mm. And afterward, a lot of, what's all that brown stuff? A lot of mud. Oh, it's gonna take him forever to tidy that up. Pete called in the diggers. He called in the mixers. He called in the concrete, the rakers, the fixers. What's he gonna do with all of those? Do you have any ideas? No mud, no leaves, no mess, no trees. Perfectly tidy and perfectly neat. This forest is practically perfect, said Pete. Does this look like a forest? No, not anymore. I'm hungry, he thought. I deserve a treat. So he, sunted, he hunted around for something to eat. But the beetles and worms that he normally found were under the concrete deep in the ground. And so Pete decided to go home instead. If he couldn't have dinner, he'd go straight to bed. <gasps> but when he arrived and took out his key, uh-oh, there wasn't a door where the door used to be. There's supposed to be a door right there. Uh-oh, all that concrete covered everything up. Later that night, Pete tossed and Pete turned. His belly was empty. It was rumbled and churned as he lay in his mixer. That doesn't look like a very nice place to sleep, does it? He was wide, wide awake and he started to think, I've made a mistake. Oh no, what's a mistake? Oh, when you do something wrong. mistakes can be fixed. The very next morning when it got light, he set about trying to put everything right. Look, they're breaking up all that concrete. Oops, kind of trouble with the page there. Here we go. Then the animals came from the strong to the weak and they lent him a paw, paw, a claw, or a beak. What are they doing? They're helping to put all the trees back. Look, even the birds. They put everything back as it always had been, but maybe less ordered and not quite as clean. And Pete? Well, he promised to tidy up less. But if he succeeded, is anyone's guess. I see a brush and some cleaning things around. I think he's still having a hard time trying not to clean. Oh, but look. In that trash can, it says, keep your forest tidy and all those cleaning supplies are in there. <gasps> what is Pete doing? He's still got his vacuum and he's trying to vacuum up those words. Silly Pete. The end. Look at that beautiful forest again. It looks perfect. That's right, they worked together and they fixed everything and put it back right. <sighs> Okay, it's time to say goodbye now, everybody. 
say goodbye like this and then two fingers for friends and time to say goodbye here we go okay goodbye friends goodbye friends goodbye friends it's time to say goodbye goodbye everybody don't forget i love you and i miss you and i can't wait to see you again bye